Um, um, this is the pain that I got. All of the pain. It's gardening day. I'm going to, we used to have tomatoes on this like a raised bed and uh, now the tomatoes are gone. So I'm going to plant uh, carrots and watermelon radish. These are the seeds that we got from Green Town. But first I need to um, fix the soil. Or like first remove this. Uh, I'm here too. Tomato cage. Yes. Mom, is this a good uh, tomato? Huh? Is this a good tomato? Yeah, that, yeah, that's a good tomato. You just need to... You just need to... Don't put it on your pocket, it's going to be mushy. Yeah. This pretty cool? Yeah, good for this. So I need to remove this like tomato cages. Can I have? Oh, later. I don't know, can you? It's like... It's just like a grown up thing to do, you might get hurt. The one at the bottom is like very sharp like that, right? Maybe you are right. Yeah. Maybe you are right. I'm not talking about the sharp things. I think I'm trying to be careful with the sharp things. But I'm talking about, I think it needs someone more powerful to do it. <laughs> yes, that's right. See, um, are you bigger than me? Right? Yeah. You're strong. We can, I'm gonna do this. Put them on the side for next year's tomatoes, or we can plant a sugar snap piece here too. Sugar snap piece? Or sugar yeah. cane? Sugar cane, yeah, we need to plant sugar cane. <laughs> Why? I like to eat sugar cane. <laughs> you can eat sugar cane? Yeah. Oh, we can also get sugar from it. That means a lot of cake. We can make juice too. Sugar cane. Oh, yeah. That would be good. I want to make sugar cake. Okay? Wonder where to taste this. We have a lot of this. <laughs> I'll put them together for now to save space. Right. And then put them on the side. Just be careful with this one, okay? They're here for now. What is this for then? You can have like uh, to do and the two ways. Like kind of like a like this. Like you found dollarite. What is this? Dollarite, I think. What's that? Well, I don't know. You are good in like. I, I think that's in my chair. Okay. Dollarite, I think. Dollarite? Okay, now I know. I don't know. Dynorite? I don't know. I didn't remember the name of it. This is a rock, I think. That it can be crumbled like this. You know why? Because mm -hmm. this dino, right, is not that strong. Oh, now I know. These are not rocks. I think they're just nutrients in the soil. Nutrients in the soil. This is okay with me, mommy. I'm good. This is used to be. Daddy's shovel. Yeah, it's very heavy shovel now. No, it's okay with me. Thank you, baby. Welcome. Here. So we are fixing the soil, but we are adding more soil on top. A bag of soil. Viewers, do you think this is a little weird that I'm carrying a big shovel right now? Uh, no. As long as you can manage it, right? Right? Okay, I'll get the soil now. We got four bags of soil when we went to Green Thumb. That's a good one. Plant it. Why not? We need to. We need to think 
sprinklers first and then add in the foil. So we're using this Organic Harvest Supreme. are the uh, root vegetables that we are going to plant on this box today so we have the watermelon radish the garden party radish the pink beauty and then the Parisian carrots we love this last season the tricolor carrots and then the Romeo carrots this is new so we are going to prepare the soil now I'll just use a stick like this to take a straight line like that and then I'm using a popsicle stick to for the label edible gardeners and please like watch your other videos and just subscribe i guess so i'm planting three different varieties of radishes so this is watermelon radish and then this one is garden party different colors very pretty and then this is a uh, pink beauty so they all take about um, a week to germinate, a week from today, and then and then about so watermelon radish takes about like uh, two months to harvest. So we are going to harvest this around December, while these other two varieties uh, they only take about like a month to harvest. So in a month we would be eating this too, but this one takes a little longer. So I'm going to plant this now. So I already like created this like line with a stick. And then I'll just like the seeds there and then I put a, a label on the in here so I know where they are like you know which varieties I planted in each row 
So this side would be the uh, watermelon radish. Next is this garden party. I can just thin them out later. And then maybe um, use it as like, you know, use the sprout in sandwiches. So, just putting the seeds like that. And then I'll just cover them so the uh, birds won't eat the seeds. And then the next is this, um, I like this one, Pink Beauty. They are tiny but very, very pretty. And then on the other side would be the carrots. So those are the seeds that have been sowed, like three columns of um, the radishes. So this is a four by four um, raised bed. I'll put a link down below. Uh, they sell this at Amazon too. We got this from Home Depot, but they have it at Amazon. So I can uh, share the link to Amazon. And then I'll check if I they have this like seeds at Amazon store. So I can put the link down below too. So on the next three columns, I'm going to plant this um this one, our favorite like this past season, the Tonda di Tonda di Parigi or like this inspiration carrot. And then the uh tricolor carrots and then this one the Romeo kind of like operation two rounded so on this row I'm going to sow the seeds of Parisian carrots to another de Parigi so like what I meant I said earlier if the germination rate is super good and we, I get a lot of sprouts then I can use that on I'll just use the sprouts for like sandwiches or like soups And this column is um, this, tricolor carrots. So we have this like auto drip here, this. This is like, actually for the tomato with that. And then this one is sort of like a, a fan or something. <laughs> like it has like, spits like water like 360 degrees. So this one is the uh, tricolor carrots. It has like different colors, so when you pull the carrots, like which which color is this? the Romeo round baby carrots which is like new we haven't planted this oh so the germination um, so this one it takes about a month to emerge and then um, maturity is like 65 days almost two months so for the Parisian carrots so the radishes will sprout first before these carrots because radishes only takes about a week this takes a month 
So this one about 10 to 20 days for this as uh, tricolor carrots to germinate. And then to harvest is about two months. And this one about 10 to 20 days to germinate and then about 60 days or like a month to harvest the Romeo. So last one is the Romeo. I'm planting a lot. to cover to make sure the um, the birds don't eat the seeds I'll just use this like popsicle sticks to label so I know which one is which Covered now. Now I need to water them down below for uh, this box. It's pretty sturdy. We had this for a long time, for four or five years now. So just water the seeds thoroughly, like that, so they germinate. Tomorrow I'm going to sow the seeds of this kale, lick, beet, beetroot, then some lettuce, and some arugula, snap peas, and uh, rutabagas. So how many more root vegetables? So this and this would be on the same box, beet and um, rutabagas, and then this one will be on the trellis, and this will be on those uh, 8 by 4 boxes. Arugula, and these are uh, mesclun, mes 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 <laughs> and then the kale and the leek. Exciting. Oh, what is that? Thank you so much for watching. Please to subscribe and like this video. Down there is the um like button down there. And and, and watch our other videos. And remember to click the notifications bell. Bye to so never miss the never a, a new video.